Welcome to another Women Lead TV show brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Michelle Burquist, your host, and with me today is Charles Sutta Medina, and she is the founder of the Titan Women Collective at Cal State Fullerton University. Wow, first of all, I want to be a Titan woman. You are a that, Titan woman. Those words woman. are so powerful, but you don't usually hear women saying that. How yes. did you come up with the heck is the Titan Women Collective? Well, at Cal State Fullerton, we are Titans, mm -hmm. right? That is your mascot, we right? We are, a, we are like Titans. That. And, um, you know, I was asked, would I like to, to start a women's group or organization um, to really support, uh, the idea originally was our female uh, entrepreneurship students mm. who were interested in starting businesses which is a ton of women these days it is a ton yeah. of women but I thought you know that's nice but I really want to reach more than just those that are in entrepreneurship mm -hmm. I actually wanted to be inclusive of all of the female students within our college right right um, whether they are starting their own business or whether they are looking to go into a particular profession um, we wanted to sort of meet them where they were and really customize a, uh, a mentoring program for them. And so, that's what we are doing. With so the I'm so sorry. I interrupt. That's what I do. You know that. Okay. So mentoring, it's like, yes. you know, there's so many books on, you know, don't find a mentor, be a sponsor. Mm. It's like, I think it's gotten to be this word that people just use it. And I'm like, how, how do you see mentoring at the Titan Women Collective? I'm looking to really um, make this a, a different mentoring program. Difference good. Different because there are just many different opportunities for mentoring programs. We even have an awesome women's leadership program within our college mm -hmm. and I'm collaborating with the director there oh. because what I want to do is focus on sort of the soft skills. So our university is doing a great job in educating them academically for you know the, their different disciplines. Oh wait, let me not look at you because I'm doing this all the time exactly, and I can't communicate exactly. anymore because I'm, I'm I, so it's focused hard to hold a conversation. on my smartphone. It's exactly. like, what up? Exactly. That has changed for kids so much now. It has, and we hear this. Eye. We hear this from the uh, companies and the business owners. So in addition to Titan Women, of course through the Small Business Institute, I'm speaking to uh, presidents and uh, on, uh, CEOs, mm. those that are interested in our student consulting program and engaging with the student wow. team. You know, we're hearing this from them in terms of the, the applicant pool of employees. So what are the things that they are looking for are, are students that come out, you know, that are able to have a conversation, right. that are able, that know um, how to engage people and look them in the eye, have a proper handshake, you know? Let's shake, come on. Let's shake, shake yeah. actually. Yes, firm not shake. The little, yeah, yeah, not that. We could have a whole show on just how to do a handshake. I remember learning that when I was in Absolutely. Baking. And yeah. so those are some of the things that we're going to be focusing on. You know, teaching these young women how to actually negotiate. They've got to go out there and, mm -hmm. and negotiate their salaries, you know? How do you ask for a raise? Here's a question, you know, I know that's how we see it. Yeah. Do you think our n next generation, right, yeah. of leaders are coming out of college yeah. and they're well prepared to be able mm -hmm. to take advantage of the, the things that are there for them in business and industry or what, you know, because you're in the, in, the, in the school system. What do you yeah. see is what's yeah. lacking? Like, communication is a big one, I think. Communication is a what big else? one. Um, Honestly, I think a lot of it also has to do with just the headspace that sometimes mm -hmm. as women um, we can get in. Um, or so, for example, um, you know, a lot of times as students, you know, you you're, you're thinking I'm a student and I can't really uh, put myself in this position because I'm not I don't have that experience. And mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, you've just made it through four years of a university. You've yeah. conquered some, you know, um, some very difficult classes. Guess what? You can, you can figure stuff out. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes it is being willing to take opportunities, even when you don't think that you have all of the qualifications. Because look at your male counterparts. I was going to say, do you see a difference between oh, girls and boys? Okay, absolutely. Here we go. You know, your your males, and even you know, you know those that are my cohorts in in the college. You know, they are willing to just say yes and move forward and figure it out. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes we can hold ourselves back because we think we need to prepare ourselves more, we need to learn something, you know, uh, 
and, yeah. and we, we let the opportunity pass us by. Here's a big one, and I, you know, I, I, I know what my opinion is going to be, so I'm choosing my words carefully, but it, I, I'm seeing, because we've been involved in the interviews, I should say, full disclosure, yes. I'm a board member I'm of the of Titan Women Collective, so Absolutely. this is super fun. Yes. Um, I, I'm, I'm very humbled and excited to be yes. a part of it. I think doing some of these interviews we've, ha we've had with some of these young women, mm -hmm. it's interesting to me that how much interest there is on being an entrepreneur, and I'm like, it, my head is saying there is nothing that's going to give you as much value mm -hmm. as going to work for somebody mm -hmm. else, yeah. no, knowing how to get along with other people before you go start a business. Yeah. And yet that is the trend right now. It what is. What's your opinion on that one? Entrepreneurship is just, it's a trendy topic for some. Some people just Be my love own the boss. idea yeah. of, pause. Oh, we're going to say bless you. We're going to yeah. edit too. We'll just, we'll just keep it going. I on. totally needed to sneeze and okay. it didn't want to come out. Ashley, you got to get your mom on that one. It's like, make sure that's part of the, that, that's part of the outtakes. So, <laughs> so cute. Yeah. And your sneeze is so cute. That so we're really good. Cute. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Because uh, when it, when it decides petite, to come up. That was a petite one. <laughs> Like let it go. Okay. Okay. Here, here so go back. what was the question? I totally lost. Oh, uh, we were talking about. about the difference, you know, for like going to work for somebody oh. else and how much yeah. interest does just want to be your own boss. So yes, uh, you know, and today many of the students have that that idea. I just I want to work for myself, mm -hmm. but honestly, they don't know what that means. Do you know what I mean? They just don't want to follow rules. They they really <laughs> just don't. They really want to to just do their own thing, but they don't understand that entrepreneurship. You know, that, that's not like a nine to five gig. Yeah. <laughs> Live um, it, eat it, breathe it, obsess not. about it. That's my four, four exactly, food groups. Exactly, exactly. And so um, while many of them say, hey, this is what I want to do, um, the reality is, and, and I have many frank conversations with students because although we might graduate 100 or so students through entrepreneurship, you know, there are only a handful of them that are actually starting businesses out of college. Mm -hmm. You know, there, it's much more um, valuable, honestly, to go and get work experience. What industry do you want to work yes. in? Um, there's so much to learn and to add value to a small business. And so that's the conversation that I have with students that are considering entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Because I say, listen, you're going to need an investor for your dream because dreams are expensive. Yeah. They really are. Cost money. They cost money. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you need to eat. <laughs> so Don't forget the roof over your head as well. well you That's know, an important piece. Exactly. exactly. So just having a real conversation with them, they get it. But, you know, we talked to a number of students, you know, as we were uh, interviewing for oh, our pilot program. And they're, they've got ideas. Uh, they energy. Have energy. I'm like, I want to bottle the energy. Yeah. I want to bottle it. Yeah. But guess what? Sometimes as you're developing your business idea or concept, what do you figure out? Mm -hmm. It's not really viable or sustainable. Then what? Right. So, you know, you always want to have a, you know, uh, some something that's paying the bills and that you're learning and adding value to what, while you're building your dream. Well, I love this. And I think, you know, it's like there's so many things trending for women today. Yeah. And so with the Titan Women Collective, it's like, what are you hoping, you know, that the end result is yeah. going to be? I mean, we live in the world. I know you live in your institution of milestones and, you know, benchmarks yeah. and all that. But yeah, what's yeah. what's the end game here for Titan Women you Collective? You know, it's it's funny because, one, I am not a faculty member. So I'm – I. You know, I'm not about, you know, Gantt charts and all of this. Oh you know, I'm, what are I'm Gantt really charts? Don't go there? Got yeah, it. Don't okay. go there. What is a Gantt chart? However, I mean, however, I just kind of distilled this down to very basic terms, right? It's like, we're going to take X number of students. We're going to see where they are. We're going to see what their needs are with our collaborating partners and CWI as Absolutely. One of my main ones, right? Absolutely. We are going to pair them with the appropriate mentors for them to establish relationships with. We're not going to dictate what that relationship is. We're going to let that naturally occur. Yeah. You know what I mean? Love it. But I think this is what I, what got me so excited about it with you is that, you know, there is education and programs and curriculum, yeah, right? Yeah. But in addition to that, right, because yeah. that's a really important mm -hmm. piece and we need to learn to grow, we need to learn and have knowledge, yes. right? But 
I think, and what I'm so excited about is seeing this, because I've been out of the school system yes. for so long, right? Not old, just seasoned. <laughs> but based on that, these, these young girls are so excited when we brought up and said, we're going to match you yes. and have you interact with people that are doing mm -hmm. what you're thinking. You don't even know you, you want to do it. I mean, that's the part that's been surprising to me, is I've always kind of known where I wanted There's to go. There's so many that have no... And so many don't. They're mm -hmm. like, open your eyes. There's so many opportunities besides being a YouTube reality star, right? Exactly, or exactly. an influencer on YouTube. And that's but what's important in that too, and I think this might be a part of our onboarding of these students is we need to determine or do some sort of a assessment for them so that they understand who they are, what their strengths are, right? Where their weaknesses are. Yeah. And we can put them in situations or, or give them advice that's going to play to those things. So I think that's going to be an important piece. It is, and I just, it was interesting on one of the last interviews, but I think we also need to try to get the very best out of them because yes. I feel like they're stifled in understanding or knowing what they want, mm -hmm. right? So, because they're coming to us, and what I've seen in the interviews, it's like they don't know what they want. They don't know what's even out there, and so I don't but know But you how know that what, Michelle? That is okay. Right, it right. It totally that's true. is okay. That's true. that's true. You know, not every student is going to have like a clear path and know that you know what this is what this is the field that's for me do you know what i mean they might have to try several things right because what they're thinking this field or this industry is may not be what it actually is for them when they actually you know uh, invest time into it and so it's about yeah. just being aware of that and just being willing as long as you're willing to learn and try something new they're going to be all right I think what I love most, and I want you to kind of just, this is my last question because we're out of time, but what's interesting to me is how much you have taken this on mm -hmm. and taken ownership of really making this a relevant program. And there's so many organizations that start women's initiatives or, yeah. you know, because it's women's time right now, right? But you, you are is. making this, you know, relevant to where these young women yeah. are. It's like, talk a little bit about just how, how is this inspiring you? Because I know there's an internal is, passion for you. And it is. I want that to be, to have our, our audience see that. I, it was, it's been amazing because I reluctantly moved forward with this, you know? But I said, you know, I know who I am mm -hmm. and I know what motivates me. And in higher education, there's a whole side to that that is really just challenging for me. Right. But if I can keep my focus on the impact that my work has with students, it's manageable. I can do that, right? And so the question for me became, okay, well, if I take this on, yes, I can build this Titan Women Collective, but what's our goal? And that's when, remember, I when know, we started in the fall, everybody was like, gung-ho, what are we doing? And I had to take a step yes. back. I did, and that made a lot of people uncomfortable. But what that allowed me to do was to really zero in on the impact that I wanted to make with the students, and then get crystal clear on who I wanted to attract right. to the Titan Women Collective, because this collective is not for everyone. We're going to end it on that. So this Titan Women Collective is not for everyone, but it's for very special someone. So Charles said a thank you, thank you for being for on me. Women Lead TV today. I want to thank all of our listening audience, and we'll be back again with another Women Lead TV show. Thank you. Awesome.